Hi, Victoria Pinder, USA Today best-selling author uh, for romance, and I hope you're having an amazing day. And I just came up to really quickly because it's been a busy day. We took our kids to the Children's Museum. We just did a lot of stuff. We had to go grocery shopping and basically, you know, live life a little bit and enjoy the day. So anyway, but my weekends I typically don't write. It's normally Monday through Friday is my writing time, and then weekends I do weekend things and. If I also have to think about marketing, because that's something I can do on the weekend, things that I can kind of put together. So let's talk about some marketing stuff because it's what goes on in my brain because there's no writing happening now. So I want to talk about having an annual plan and coming into 2020, because I'm thinking about 2020, so I think you are too, or you should be, um, and start thinking about what you want to do. And I just wrote some things down. So I'm going to look down to my, think down a little bit. Now, for 2020, you should have some writing goals, your social media goals, and you should have, um, what's it called? Things that you just have to do in order to do it. So there's a lot to do this whole writing gig, right? And it's not just writing words. However, that should definitely be one of these things that we're talking about is writing the words on a piece of paper, right? And this is just an overview of 2020, what we should be thinking about every single year, and then writing it down. I am a big believer in coming up with your Excel spreadsheet. I have an Excel spreadsheet. Maybe you're not Excel. Maybe you're a word person. I don't know. Maybe if you use notes on your Apple, on your iPhone, I do a lot of notes on my iPhone. Whatever works for you, get a day planner or calendar. Okay, so let's talk about your 2020 goals. You should have how many books you want to write. For me, that's 16. Um, how many words in a book? Mine are typically 50,000. So you can do the math 16 by 50,000. I forget how many words that is right now. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but that also means editing. So, and having a launch plan for each book. So you want to come up with how many words you need to write in a day by math. So you have to whip out a calculator, figure out what you want. Maybe you don't want 16, maybe you want to do four. That's fine, it's up to you. Maybe you want to do one. It's totally up to you. Whatever you can do. But either way, you should have a goal. What is the goal for 2020? How many books are you gonna write? How many pages of editing are you going to get done? How, what are your titles of your book? Now then, in 2020, you wanna look at your newsletter. How many subscribers, or if you, maybe you're starting at zero for all of these things, and that's totally fine. Um, you should look at your newsletter. How many subscribers do you have? How many active subscribers? How many emails you're going to send? How many emails did you actually send? Um, what, and pay attention to your, your title. What was the most exciting, what was the best title in the last three months? What was the la worst title in the last three months or whatever in the year? Um, also call to actions. What are you going to ask people? Questions, polls, quizzes, stuff like that. And you need to think about social media. You need Facebook page, your Facebook group, your Twitter, your YouTube, which is what this is, Goodreads, which I never touch, Instagram, which maybe I should, and BookBub are the ones that I can think of offhand that I wrote down. Also, you need to make sure that everything is always good. So you need to make sure that your website is up to date and all of these things that I just talked about are up to date. Then you also need to think about paid advertising, contests and giveaways, and anything else you're going to do with other authors, maybe it's a swap, maybe it's a collaboration, something else you're going to do just to get your name in different pots. So that's a lot in an overview like nutshell, right? So when this, uh, this is continuing, now you want to take a calendar and say, you can't do everything in a day, but what can you do in a day? And that's what we're going to talk about. So in this typical day, you want to have your words written, like you should have your daily calendar of how many words you're going to write in the day, how many words do you think, oh, and your blog. There's another one of those things that you have to list on, on many things. And I do like my blog. Um, so you want to look at how many times a day did you do go on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blog, go into your reader group, which is my bad, which I need to start making better. So I'm noticing a trend. And if you start noticing, I'm going to start talking about my new, my Facebook groups. I am having a plan of action on what I can do to make, to grow my, to actually make my place, my Facebook group actually good. So you have to start thinking about it and starting to have, how can you divide up your day? It's actually not that bad. It's not. So in a day, like Monday through Friday, I do my writing or my editing. Um, also in the day, I'm going to do maybe like my twins, Twitter's on automation then I will kind of go in there and do at least one to two tweets a day which isn't that much the rest is automated I do have an automation sequence 
um also facebook my facebook page i have a lot of automation but i do also try to go in there and post things too youtube this is all new just for me pinterest that's my bad i need to get better at that blog i don't do a blog once a week day i do a blog once a week typically on sunday so that's on my weekend so i can fit in 250 words at some point today because it's saturday so it can go tomorrow on sunday which is my daily time to post not because it's the most peak time to post blog but it's better than nothing because it's getting done and it fits on my schedule um so you want to look at your week break down your weeks this week you want to do maybe you want to forward your amazon followers this week that's amazing that's your weekly goal with your social me with your social media is you want to bring people to your Amazon but that's not every single day you have a different goal every week maybe next week it's your Facebook group and you want to invite people to your Facebook group and you do that for a week so you do have a schedule you have to kind of follow so the best thing to do is write down your schedule and then I would write a yearly like my year goal right your goals for the year then I would write my quarterly goals or how you can break it up into three months. So, so you take the broad and you're kind of making it smaller. Um, then I would take my three month goal and make it into one month's goals. And then I would take my one month goal and break it into four weekly ones. Also with your blog and social media and you're thinking, what do I have to do? What should I talk about? Oh my God, it is so much. Um, it's not so much. In fact, I recommend, and I was recommended, you should have four topics that match your brand that you are always going to. So once a month, you always kind of are going to be talking about this kind of broad topic. Maybe it's travel. I used to do travel. Travel is not one of mine anymore. Um, mostly because I don't get to travel anywhere. Uh, moving maybe. I do move a lot. I'm planning a move in three years. Um, then maybe after not moving, I can throw travel back in there because I, I do love travel. I do have a plan in 2021 in case you care um which is so far away i know but it's what can fit in the schedule and i just moved so well i guess i but rwa doesn't count because i will go to a conference but that talk about like fun so anyway i do recommend getting out your calendar starting to think about all of these things that i talked about and i hope you enjoy this video please like subscribe and if you have any questions about anything i said in a big topic let me know and I will make a make a more precise video on it. Okay, have a great day.